Hello and welcome to the zipper installation day three. This is going to be a good day because we're going to tackle our zippers. So if you are doing the online version, you should have your jacket and your waistband sewn on in half. Already all done. And then if you're doing the lined version, your waistband should be open. Um, and remember, if you are doing a reversible, make sure you have a reversible zipper. Um, if you're not doing a re reversible, you just need a regular separating zipper. Um, okay, so let's get on installing your zipper. Okay, so we are going to start with the right side of our jacket. And you also need your zipper and remember make sure you have the center of your waistband marked with a pin or with a marking pin and it's up to you you can go ahead and um, separate your zipper if I can do it oh, there you go so we are going to start with the zipper with the little zipper pull on it. So go ahead and you're going to want to line up and sure you get your zipper pull out of the way. Um, so we're going to go ahead and line up our the bottom of our zipper with the um, bottom of our waistband. I like to use clips um, for attaching the waistband I think it's a little bit easier, but if you don't have clips, of course, you can still use your pins. Um, but I personally think it's a little bit easier. My pins are scattered all throughout my sewing room, so this is just what I got to work with. So make sure your, um, your waistband seam is pointing up. And then just go ahead and um, pin or clip your zipper. Um, that way your tape lines up to the edge of your jacket. And as you see here, I have a, a little um, my, I didn't quite sew that very straight, so I'm just, I'll just cut that off later, but it's all good. Um, so once that is all pinned um, with your zipper tape nice and flat, um, and we're going to go ahead and sew this. We're going to be using our zipper foot, which is this bad boy. Uh, and so we're going to be sewing with along the edge of the zipper. Um, so we'll go ahead and go do that. Hopefully you can see this okay. Um, but we are going to be... So make sure your... Um, go ahead and remove this pin out of the way. Well, you want to make sure your zipper tape is lined up to your fabric, and then we're just going to sew um, with butting the, you want to butt up your zipper foot to your um, zipper teeth. Sorry, I don't have two, I don't more than two hands, so you will just have to deal with this. Hopefully you can see it okay. And we're just using a regular old straight stitch. And make sure you keep your everything nice and flat. Thank you. 
Now we officially have just installed the first half of our zipper. Doesn't that look great? It should be nice, beautiful. Don't worry, we'll top stitch this down later. And so now you want to go ahead and attach your zipper. Now we're going to bring our other side. And now we're going to pin or clip um, our jacket to the other side. But I'm going to flip it this way. Just because I think it's a little bit easier to have the fabric on the bottom and the zipper on the top. So now you want to make sure we are lining up, um, keeping your uh, waistband seam pointed up. And so I usually figure you have to um, pin it and then we'll double check it to make sure it's lining up nicely. Um, this is also where if you are doing a kangaroo pocket, you want to make sure you are pinning very carefully um, to make sure your pockets are lining up nicely. So I like to mark up, um, match up those spots and then come up here to the top and match up um, my the top of my jacket. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but see, and then I can either move it slightly down or slightly up if I need to, but that looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it there and then just make sure your, everything is nice and flat and then we'll go ahead and pin or clip our zipper to the rest of our jacket. Another thing that might make this easier is using um, the wonder tape. That sometimes helps keep everything in place. Um, but I'm going to skip that for this one. So that's all nice and pinned or clipped. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing on our sewing machine. And um, we're going to always, our, we are always, always, always starting at the bottom and working our way up. Um, so we're going to be moving the zipper foot to the other side. Um, and then again, just sewing all the way up. And you want to make sure that this is even. Let's see, how, how well do we do? See, my waistband is a little bit lower on this side. It's a teeny wee bit lower. So I can go in and move that up, especially because I have such a big contrast, you'll probably be able to tell. Um, so I'll do that, move that up, just, just a hair. It also helps to use the, um, the wonder tape for those spots to make sure it doesn't move when you're sewing that looks pretty good so so we'll just leave that like that and then we'll go back to the sewing machine and go ahead and sew this on Now our zipper should be installed. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ah. Okay, now you are going to need your 
collar. And don't worry if you are doing a hooded version. I will do that later or next, I guess. Um, so yeah, go ahead and grab your collar and your jacket. We're going to start off by um, finding the center points, the center and the I guess the quarter points. Um, so start off by getting that center one by folding it in half. Um, but now I do need my pins. Um, so my fabric here is a little on the it's a little floppy. So if I wanted to, I could put um, a piece of interfacing on the wrong side of half of my um, collar. But you want to make sure you use knit interfacing because this is gonna need to stretch a teeny bit. So if you use a woven interfacing, um, you're not gonna get any stretch. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. But I'm not going to do that. So I just mark, see I'm just lining up my um, the corner to the pin to find the center or the other quarter point. And then mark it with the pin and do it to the other side. Ta-da! Now we're going to do the same thing to our jacket. Go ahead and open that bad boy up and find your center and quarter point or your quarter points in the center. Ta -da. Okay, so since I have a metal zipper, I need to remove some teeth. Um, which means I need to find my fancy tools to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure I've used this before. I hate removing metal zipper teeth, but gotta do what you gotta do. So, make sure your zipper pull stays down because once you once we cut this off you could lose your zipper pull and that would be bad and um, so start off we're just gonna go ahead and snip this off do it to the other side And then you're going to want to, we're going to be cutting off, I'm um, moving zipper teeth um, three inches down from the neckline, or three eighths of an inch from the neckline. And so I'm going to remove three teeth off of here. So I pretty much just snip off the top of it. There's probably a better way to do it, but this tool works pretty good. I'm basically just smashing it. I clip off the top and I smash it. Safety goggles may be required. Ta-da! I will do it to the other side. This side I might need to remove four, but I'll start with just three. So with this little tool, I snip off the top. You can see that top snipped off and then I just smash it.
I think that's pretty good. So now that that's removed, we are going to match up our collar to our pin pieces. And I just lost, I lost a pin. So I need to remark that. pin here to hold it down okay well, let me change my camera okay so now we are gonna match up the end of our collar to our seam line however you do not want to um, see your zipper tape here we do not want this attached at all to our um, to our collar so we're gonna be pinning it to the end but keeping our zipper tape out of the way. So just go ahead and pin that on there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to pin my collar together so it holds it in place for me. And again, I like to fold my zipper tape in half. And we're going to mark right up, go right up against it. You see? See that? Because we do not want to sew this. So now we're going to slightly stretch and pin this together. Okay, so when we sew this, you're probably not going to necessarily be able to get all the way to the end here, but that's okay, because we're just going to baste it right now, um, just to hold it in place. So it's okay if you don't get it all the way to the end, just make sure you do not sew your zipper tape. Um, you don't want to do it like this, because it'll, if you see that, you don't want to sew it like that. It'll get all wonky, so you want to make sure your zipper tape is folded in half. That way you can just sew your neckband or your collar just to your jacket, not to your zipper tape. So we'll go ahead and use a 1 4th inch seam allowance and we're going to just baste that on there. So in a, that's just a long straight stitch. I'm just along the edge of here. And so we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. Isn't that nice? Color nice and basted on there. Looks like you have a jacket, basically. Pretty nice. Just don't try zipping it all the way. My your zipper stuff might fall off, but not bad. Anyway, if you'd like to get one step ahead of the game, you can go ahead and. So on your, um, so your cuffs on, um, fold in half, right sides together, fold them inside out, or right side together, and so on. Pretty self-explanatory. If you need any help, um, let me know. But go ahead if you want. Go ahead and um, attach your cuffs on, and then you're done. That's it. That's all we're doing today. Easy peasy. Woo! Then we'll do the rest tomorrow. <laughs> um, however, if you are doing a hood, stay tuned. Um, the next video I will be going over, this is my unlined version. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same of how we attach the zipper, but instead of um, our zipper, be our waistband being open, our waistband is already finished. Um, but in that video, I will be attaching the hood on. The hood is pretty much done exactly the same way, um, except it is a hood instead of a collar. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you're doing the line, unlined version, stay tuned. If you're doing the line version, you're done. Congratulations. Come back tomorrow. 
um, and we'll go from there. I hope you have a great day.